Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me for this very special lesson where we're going to be talking about the glorious A shape and all the beautiful things that you can do with this shape once you connect it with the appropriate scales. Now, last week we looked at the E shape. Alright, and we worked on uh, different exercises, different licks uh, to integrate some muscle memory so that when we play that chord, or we play that shape, should I say, that we can pull out all these cool different licks and melodical ideas. Now, we've got to do the exact same thing for the A shape. We're going to play a little chord progression uh, that is going to incorporate two main licks uh, that are designed to build muscle memory with your finger. So it's important that you practice these as much as you can so that when you're playing this stuff, um, you know, when you're just playing stuff on your own or maybe you're playing a song and you go into this shape, uh, you have the muscle memory built in to you know, pull out a fast little lick uh, or a little melody and things like that. So again, this is how, you know, the guitar opened up for me was chord by chord and lick by lick, scale by scale. So the more you practice this stuff, the more you dial in that muscle memory, the quicker the fretboard will turn into a magical playground of creativity. All right, so get your guitar and let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the very first lick. Okay, we're gonna start with the A chord, okay? So we're going to play this chord, alright, and then we're going to play the major scale. Alright, now the thing you know is when you have this shape, you've always got shape one of pentatonic, shape one of the pentatonic scale on your doorstep, okay? So if I had to play that shape here, I would have it here. It doesn't matter, right? As long as you play that shape, you're always going to have uh, the same scale shape available to you, okay? So that's the big lesson I want you to take away from this, all right? So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to add in two extra notes to this scale. And that makes it the major, uh, the major scale. Now, the pentatonic scale, as in the pentatonic, penta, is five notes, right? Taking out the seven-note major scale. So we're just adding in the other two notes here, right? So we've got five, four, two, five, three, two, four, two. That's back to the root. And I'm gonna hit that note twice. So I've got this. So that's like number one again. Five, four, two, five, three, two, five, four, two, two. Now it's important that you use the right fingers here, pinky. Third and index, right? Basically, you've got a finger for each fret. You really want to get into the practice of doing that. Alright, <clears throat> now we're going to fire into a, a pentatonic lick. Alright, um, and basically, what I'm doing here is I'm hammer on between 2 and 4 in the D, and then 2 and 4 in the G, and then sliding up to 6 in the G. And then middle finger on five. And then I'm going to bring my third finger back up to six. All right. Five, six. And then I'm going to take my middle finger, slide it up to seven, back to five. And then to finish off, six, my third finger, and four. Now, the idea here is I've got shape 1 of the pentatonic scale here, but I can slide up to shape 2 here, where I've got this little box, 7, 5, 7, 5, uh, 6. So this little triangle box, which slides back into shape 1. Okay. So that like again, nice and slow. 2, 4, 2, 4, slide up to 6. 5 in the B, back to 6 on the G. Slide up from 5 to 7. Back to five, third finger back to six, and then four. All right, don't actually come back there. Yeah? I'm going to stop here on the fourth fret. So let's have a little look at those legs played together. All right, slower. Ok, 
in. And now we're going to climb into the D shape by doing this. Or the D chord, did I say, sorry. Using the same A shape. Alright, and this is a cool little technique. I could do anything here, really. Uh, to climb up the, uh, the scale here um, of the A shape. And all I'm doing here is I'm pulling off from 42 on the G, 42 on the D, 4 on the A, and then I'm going to use the A string to then navigate into the next scale. Alright, now moving into the D shape, or the D chords, A shapes, pentatonic scale, if that makes sense. Alright, because now I've got shape 1 for the D chord. Okay, so again... I'm going to slide from 4 right up to 9 and then I'm going to get the A shape here on the 7th fret which again is the D chord alright now this is when it gets a bit easier because all I'm going to do is, is repeat the exact same thing up here on the 10th uh, the uh, I'm going to start on the 10th fret 10, 9, 7 10, 8, 7 7, 5, 5 Oh, sorry, five, nine, seven, seven. <laughs> the numbers don't really matter at this point because you've got that muscle memory built in. Already, you're just moving it. All right, so again. And then. Exact same leg. Set the hammer on, 7, 9. Slide up to 11. 10. Back to 11. 10 up to 12. Back to 10. And then back again. Now, I'm not spending too much time going over this because it's the exact same lick. Just moved up. All right. So let's have a little look at all of that played together. So you can see the last time there, um, I changed up a little bit. Rather than just slide that, I uh, used a little double stop. And there, just slide that up. And again, the same thing. From 10 to 12. Just to mix it up a little bit. So of course, feel free to experiment on these things. Again, this whole thing is designed to build muscle memory. Uh, so that, again, you know, you can use it in your own playing. You don't just need to copy what I'm doing. Just use the ideas and concepts to make them your own. So I hope you enjoyed that guys, take it easy. As always, courses and stuff in the description, a few spaces to work with me one-on-one -on -one as well. You can apply for that below. Uh, but other than that, thanks for joining me, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.